There's a little fly in here, ew. Slightly disappointing just because like I inhaled it and it tastes bad. <laughs> Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. I did do a haul like about a week or two ago. I forget exactly when. I actually have some new products on top of that that I'm going to be testing out in this video. I figured I would do two separate videos, one drugstore, one higher end. This is going to be the higher end. Before I get into this video, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I would also love for you to head over to my Instagram and follow me there. Show me some love there. I post a lot of creative content over there and yeah, join my IG fam. But yeah, let's get into this video. So I do have this PR package from Benefit that I got like a couple weeks ago and I've been dying to try this out. So I got the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. Pens are becoming really, really like in right now because everyone wants to like have those sharp, sharp, fluffy looking brows. This is what the packaging looks like. I got the shade light brown and I think it's gonna actually match my brows perfectly. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's supposed to mimic natural brow hair. It has three different lengths. It has actually show you the, the spoolie not the spoolie the the pen part of it and it's clean controlled defined lines it's 24 hour microbladed effect i do have microbladed eyebrows so that'll be interesting if they look mm, it's pretty faded though i'm not gonna lie the only part that's still really prominent is the, the front part of my brows which were never prominent start at the front of your brow gently flick upwards in short strokes at the arch rotate the pen angle it blah 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 okay i think i can figure out how to do this so this is what the pen looks like my lighting kind of seems overexposed in close-up shots oh this might actually be too light for me you have to be very careful because it's three but it does give it more of a natural look it actually really does mimic the effect of a microbladed oh i forgot to put my hair clip in i have it in front of me and everything hold on let me find my spoolie Okay, I'm actually loving this so much more than I thought I would. The only thing is, I really like to make my brows a little bit thicker than they seem, obviously. And it's kind of hard to draw in the brows. It looks really natural. I'm really kind of liking that, actually. I'm going to do the other brow and prime my lids and I'll be right back. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes. I have the new Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. I got this in PR. I got this in the mail like a couple of days ago and I was like, I got to try this out. It's available now and it's $54. It also came with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I'm probably going to put in a giveaway. I don't really tend to go toward that kind of eyeshadow primer. I like to actually cover my discoloration and stuff. So I already primed my lids with the P. Louise base and a concealer. Can we talk about this pack? Packaging, please this is so stunning it's actually 3d and i'm getting like so many gemstone vibes obviously from this palette i do want to do a more neutral kind of look today because i am going to do a two looks one palette with this i mean i think it's possible to create a, a great variation of looks even with just four mattes like this will really bring out your creativity i think urban decay eyeshadows are quality let me tell you okay so a few shades i'm obsessed with i'm obsessed with jade which is green like green is my shade i'm definitely gonna use it probably in one of the two looks one palette this one over here which one's this one it's called bloodstone it has a beautiful duochrome finish it's like brown green oh my gosh it's beautiful i also really like the rose gold and the gold which i think i'm gonna stick to today those kind of tones and stuff i'm gonna take the shade antidote first and that's gonna go all over my crease as my transition shade so it's a very very light shade this brush is really soft as well it's definitely not the shape i would take in my crease but it's okay now i'm gonna take the shade hexed and it's like a matte like darker brownish purpley shade really bad at describing colors you can see and that's gonna go in the outer corner and blend it into the crease as well the these are the only two shades you need to create like any look using like the rest of the shades in the palette to be honest i'm actually gonna take it out and like wing it out a little bit i'm just gonna keep building it up until it's, it's as dark as i want but i'm having like an issue i don't know if you guys can see it's a little patchy right at the crease hmm. i'm gonna take a little bit more of antidote and just blend out the edges and see if that helps a little bit hopefully when i add the lid shade it'll be a little less patchy but right now that's weird all right so i had to redo this eye because it was just looking so patchy and even still it's not like a hundred percent like blending the way i would like for some reason this eye is a little bit better so it could have been just the way that i you know the technique i used i guess in this eye i kind of don't think i changed the technique to this eye but whatever i don't know what's going on with this eye i could just be having a bad eye day we're gonna move on to the lid shade there's a little fly in here ew i'm gonna take tiger's eye on the lid i think that's the only shade i'm gonna take we'll see after i'm done applying it i'm gonna try applying it with this brush even though i know i'm gonna end up using my finger because that's just the way it goes i can't even see it on the brush that's an indication that it's just not even 
gonna show up. I don't want to cut my crease today. I just want to make it a very easy, very wearable, everyday look. This is a beautiful shade right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. So stunning. And then I'm gonna take that same hex shade and just like blend out the edges of the very outer corner. I'm gonna move on to the face. I am testing a new foundation today, but I also have a new primer I wanna test out, and usually I don't test out both at the same time. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It plumps and moisturizes with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. It sets in seconds, so makeup goes on fast. Skin feels comfortable all day. It's supposed to replenish moisture, prep skin for makeup, non-greasy, quick dry, acts as a makeup magnet that locks foundation and makes it last. So it has no pore refining anything and I need pore refining stuff. I did get the small size. Kathleen Lights recommends this so, so much. Oh wait, you know what? I did wanna try, I'm gonna try this as well. This is the Patrick Ta, this is a setting spray, but I mean, you can obviously use setting spray before. I'm a huge fan of applying setting spray before makeup and after makeup. And I have another one that I wanna test out to set. So I wanna try this one before since it's a luminous setting spray. This is the Patrick Ta, as I said, Major, Clo Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. So because it's like luminous, it's gonna make my skin all nice and glowy to prep it for foundation. So I'm gonna try this out. Okay, the mist is so fine that I'm not even sure it got on my face. <laughs> Definitely already see a glow though. <sighs> I inhaled some. It does have a scent, so if you don't like scents, Oh, it smells like rose. Oh, slightly disappointing just because like I inhaled it and it tastes bad. I do really like putting on setting sprays first. It just really does make a difference. Now I'm gonna try this. Let's see. I don't know. It's so small and tiny. But let's see if I like it. Because this is a moisturizing primer, I think I could layer it with my Tatcha Silk Canvas because that's more pore refining. It definitely feels hydrating. I just wish it had some pore refining benefits or like smoothing benefits. It definitely feels like like gripping, like kind of sticky. So like my foundation will stick to it. But again, because I'm testing out a new foundation, I want I want to use my tried and true. So this is the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas my holy grail i just take about this much it's really not that much and i just put it right here on my nose because that's where i get the most pores so the new foundation i'm testing out is from il maquillage i've been wanting to try this for so long this is the woke up like this foundation so this is actually my mother-in-law's and i tried it on her yesterday because she wanted to make sure it was her exact shade because you know if you go on the website and you take the quiz they're supposed to color match you with your exact shade and then you can also try it for two weeks before they charge you for it or you can return it she's doing that and she's like why don't you take the quiz and see what you get and we got the exact same shade so that's hilarious and i was like i really want to try it because i love the way it looked on her skin it's supposed to smooth and even the skin minimize their appearance of shadows and pores enhances complexion creates a flawless natural matte finish i would say it does it is more like a satin finish to me when i saw it on her it doesn't look cakey whatsoever it offers a unique combination of medium to high coverage super comfortable weightless feeling ultra easy fluid easy to blend texture applies effortlessly enables the buildable coverage to suit all needs for long lasting wear pair with primer or setting spray this is what the bottle looks like i do believe this has hyaluronic acid in it to me when i was applying it on her it looked almost like the color pop foundation that i've been loving lately so it's it'll be interesting if this is a dupe for it i'm just gonna take a little bit and i'm gonna take it on my morphe brush changing it up i'm not gonna use my color pop brush i'm just gonna take one pump i think the instructions say one to two pumps but i'm gonna take one pump for now and see how i like it it is my perfect shade wow guys i still really miss my nose ring like every time i do my foundation i like try to avoid that area like i still have a piercing in even though I don't. It does have a pretty strong scent, like chemical scent. It's kind of caking up right here. And that's where I put the primer that I normally use. I really should have just used the Tatcha primer and just saved the Smashbox primer for another day. So I also have the fucking Flawless Concealer and we also got matched to the same shade. This is the shade 2.5, by the way. The foundation's the shade 40. I actually think this might be a little too dark on me. It seems like it's oxidizing. This is the concealer. This is the packaging. Honestly, the packaging is weird on both of these. Like it looks darker in the component than it does on your face. I actually don't like the applicator on this. When I was applying it on her, I was like, Ugh. it is a very thin applicator. I like more of a fat one. And I also like concealers that are more full coverage or a little lighter, right? To brighten under the eye. So I lost some coverage down my nose. So it moved the foundation, but I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Definitely don't like the concealer. The foundation I'm still iffy on. The concealer just seems really streaky to me. It doesn't 
it doesn't look as good but i do have something that always solves my problems with concealer like if i ever find my concealer caking up i just take a little bit of the charlotte tilbury powder and it like literally instantly helps it of course this has paint on it why wouldn't it this stuff is like magic it really just helps airbrush your under eyes definitely helped a lot all right i'm gonna finish off the eyes i'm just gonna take these same shades i took in the crease oh my gosh there's a lot of fallout with this shade and then i'm just gonna take the shade good karma in the inner corner it has a little bit of a sheen but it's not that much it's more matte than anything it's like a satin guys i completely forgot that i had the patrick ta blush duo this is the shade she's so la i wanted to use the cream blush but i already put powder under my eyes i think i might try it anyway this packaging is everything though look at this he knows how to grab people's attention that's for sure like what there's a door there's like a little door I'm just gonna take a little bit on the cheeks just the cream i really want to try the cream i have another blush that i want to test out too so this might not be a good brush for this uh, i'm in love with it <laughs> i do have a new bronzer to test out this is the buxom staycation vibes primer infused bronzer this is what it looks like so freaking gorgeous look at how pretty that is even like the texture the detailing on it oh my gosh all right i'm gonna swatch it so i'm just gonna swirl my finger so pretty this bronzer is super super pigmented like you have to take a very light hand it actually looks like it has a bit of a sheen especially if you swirl it all the way i feel like the middle part is definitely pretty sheeny i really like it though it looks really nice on the skin i think it's a really nice middle ground between a contour and a bronzer really enjoyed that love it i'm going to take the other side of the patrick ta blush now just to see what it looks like real quick this one has more of a sheen too oh it's definitely super stunning but it looks like a really nice wine colored blush on my cheeks it is really pretty though i do have one more blush and i'm just gonna like layer them because why not we can do that we're allowed this is from lawless this is actually my first product from lawless i've ever owned this is the phoenix make me blush velvet blush this is what the packaging looks like it's really small compared to the patrick tall one obviously it's not a duo this is a very bright shade i want to swatch it first though it feels so buttery and smooth i really like the shade all right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. It's very pigmented, that is for sure. But it is so pretty. I've been on a blush kick lately. I've purchased a lot of blushes, but this one's super pretty. All right, for highlighter, I do have this set from Fenty Beauty. It has the Diamond Bomb Baby Traveling Luminizing Set. It has a Diamond Bomb in all over Diamond Veil. Is that what it's called? No, how many carrots? Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Sorry, I was just filming a TikTok. It also has the gloss bomb in the shade, I think Fussy, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Fussy, which I already own, so I'm gonna put that in a giveaway as well, probably my monthly favorites giveaway. I really only bought the set because I wanna try this. This is so cute, look at how small it is. I do own a few of the Fenty Beauty highlighters and I really like them, but I was just so intrigued by this one. Look how pretty that is. All right, we're gonna swatch. Oh, it feels so buttery and smooth. It definitely has like chunks of glitter. So if you don't like highlights like that, then I would definitely stay away from this. This is so stunning, guys. It doesn't look as chunky, like glittery chunky on the face. It gives you like that wet glow without it looking super chunky. I'm in love with it. And the last two things I'm going to use, I'm probably most excited for. The first is the Patrick Ta. Oh, wait, there's three things. The Patrick Ta, this is the Precision Lip Crayon in the shade She's Not From Here. This is the orange shade that I was showing you guys in my haul. It is so stunning. This packaging is everything, guys. Everything. I do have questions, though. Like, you're supposed to... It's like a pen. It's like, what? But like, what if I wanted to push it back in? Like I took too much out, you know what I mean? So that's my question, but we're gonna go ahead and use this anyway. I'm really excited to see the shade. We're gonna swatch it first. Oh, so pretty. It is definitely a beautiful red orange, perfect for summer. Summer's almost over, I don't care. I'll use this all year, I don't care. This is a very interesting formula. It's not as creamy as I thought it would be. So I am using whatever I pushed out. It's definitely a lot harder than I thought it would be. I did want that lip liner to match the lipstick. I honestly probably would have just gotten the lipstick, but like I do need a lip liner always. Like I always need a lip liner. It's so pretty. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. It, it's actually like, it looks a little lighter. 
but it's supposed to be the same shade. Oh, it's perfect though. It, oh my God. It is a very creamy formula. I really like it. But my favorite thing about it is the shade. Like I finally have a beautiful red orange lip color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So it's a soft suede, super pigmented matte lipstick. I would say it's suede is suede and matte are not the same thing. I'm sorry. I would say it's more suede. It's not gonna dry down and there's gonna be transfer. Like if I were to drink out of my giant jug of water that has a metal straw on it, you would see my lipstick on it. The last thing I have to test out is the Fenty Beauty. This is the, what's it called? Baby Would It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. So you could also use this as a primer. I just really wanted to test out the Patrick Ta one as a primer and this one as a setting spray since I had two setting sprays to test out. Oh my gosh, the sprayer on this, let's see. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it smells very fresh. Not like the Patrick Ta one that smells like rose. Let's see, Kathleen's obsessed with the sprayer so I had to trust her judgment. My issue with very, very fine mist is that I don't know if I actually got any on my face. Like, it's very hard to tell. I got the mini of this because I also just like wasn't sure I would like it. It has like decent reviews on Sephora, but ooh, it really did like melt everything in place though. I'm really liking that. That's really pretty. I feel like I overdid it with the blush though. I'm not gonna lie. Like I have too many things going on on my face, but we were just testing things out, all right? It was just a fun little experiment situation. I'm gonna go put on some lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I actually decided not to put on some falsies because I started putting my mascara, like prepping my lashes for falsies. And I just was digging this really fresh, like just natural lashes look. I'm really liking how everything turned out. There wasn't anything in this first impressions that I like genuinely really hated, except maybe the concealer was like my least favorite thing the foundation looks really good i'm still not a hundred percent convinced that i need it in my life but other than that like i'm really loving the palette the lip i think is my favorite thing that i've tried though the blushes were really pretty the highlighter is also like so pretty if you own any of the fenty beauty highlighters this one is a different formula i think i forgot to mention that when i was putting it on it feels like a lot more soft like silky smooth in comparison to the other ones i own the duo like the ones that are like split pants this one is so different it is so stunning though i'm really liking the way like it just gives you a nice fresh and like wet look it's almost like it's it's a cream highlighter but it's not i really like the bronzer as well i think i overdid it with the blush today i think i want to try the blushes separately just to like make sure that they're like good on their own i'm sure they are let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what was your favorite thing what do you want to try what have you been loving lately just let me know let's have a conversation right that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it helps me out so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye not so it says how to you start at the front of your bra up. and of course <laughs> all right i'm gonna do the other brow and i'm gonna prime <laughs> i'm gonna do the other prime what and the last two things are probably my most, like, excited at- what? Words?